In this video we're going to look at the proper way to draw a parabola because we can't always use the table method. It takes long and there's there's better ways to do it. And in class they're typically going to show you they're not going to use that they're going to show you the table method in the beginning just to get you introduced to the shape of the parabola. But then they're going to go on to different techniques and that's what we're going to practice over here. But what's very important is that you have a good idea of what the graph will look like before even drawing it. So we, because we see that there's an x squared over here, we know it's a parabola, okay? And I guess it also says parabola over there. But having that x squared should always make you remember the parabola shape. Now, is this going to be a happy or a sad parabola? Well, if you've watched the previous videos just before this, you would know that if that number in the front of the x squared is positive, then it's a positive or happy smiling parabola. And then this minus 4, what is that going to do to the graph? Well, that's going to move it four places downwards. And so the general idea is that this graph is probably going to look something like that. It's going to be four units down. I haven't done it according to scale. I'm just drawing a rough sketch graph of what it's going to look like. So it's going to be moved four units down, and it's going to be a smiling parabola. But now we're going to go look at proper ways to find, we're going to find the proper points so that we can draw this graph properly. The points that we're going to find are going to be the following. So I've highlighted in red circles, these are the different points that we're going to find. We're going to find these two points over here, which we call the x-intercepts. X-intercepts because it's where the line goes through the x-axis. And then we're also going to find the y-intercept, which is where it cuts the y-axis. It's actually the same as what we did with straight lines. When we did a straight line, we often went and made x0 and y0. And the dots that we found were always on the x-axis and the y-axis. OK, so we in, in straight lines, we also used to call it, well, we used to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So what do we know about these two points over here? What could we go to this, e what could we tell this equation? Because we want that equation to help us find those points. Well, I want you to take some time to think about this, but those, the, the y values at those two points, the y values, they are zero, right? Because those points are on the x-axis and the y values, they are zero. So let's go to this equation and say, hey, equation, if the y value is 0, then what are the x values? And so now what this equation will do is it will go and solve x for us. So what we can do is take the 4 over to the left-hand side, and then we can take the square root of 4. But here's something that's very important. When you take a square root, always remember to say plus and minus. And so the square root of 4 is 2, and so the answer is going to be plus and minus 2. So, and the reason we say plus and minus is what is minus 2? squared. Well, that's 4, right? And what is 2 squared? That's also 4. And so the answers are going to be minus 2 and 2. So this x value over here will be negative 2, and this x value over here will be positive 2. Then how do we find this point over here? Well, on that line, the x value is 0. So let's go to that equation and say, hey, equation, what is the y value on your graph when the x value is 0? And this part here will become 0, and so you'll end up with 0 minus 4, and that's going to give you negative 4. And so this y value over here is negative 4. And so the proper way to draw this would be to go to the coordinates over here where we said x was 2 and y is 0, and then go to this coordinate here where we said x is minus 2 and y is 0, and then go four places down over here where x is 0 and y is minus 4, and then you would draw a line going through those dots. Let me try that again. There we go. And then you would get your graph like that.